Make sure to apply all of these settings in order to improve your FPS in all games in 2023. If you applied everything correctly, all your games are gonna run buttery smooth, so therefore let's get straight into it. In the first place guys, what we actually want to do is go to our Windows search bar and type in their game until we can find the game mode settings. And both Windows 10 and Windows 11 have this built-in game mode which is actually proven to optimize your PC for games guys. So therefore make sure that this one is 100% enabled. It literally can improve your FPS already by around about 10 to 15% for most of the games that you want to play. Then we're going to click as well here additionally now to graphics settings and in there now we have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. This one here guys is kind of like a hit or miss. You have to try it out for the specific games you guys want to play. But for me most of the part for what I I play actually on my PC which is CSGO, Valorant, Fortnite, it actually makes a huge difference. So therefore make sure that this one is turned on, then afterwards we actually have to scroll down here and select the game where we want to apply these settings as well. But we're not done yet here guys because under graphics performance preference we actually can now select a game guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in here and select whatever game I want to do here. Let's just go here for the Epic Games launcher, go here into Fortnite, Fortnite game binaries, Windows 64. You basically have to put in the exit of the game which you want to play, which is for me right now Fortnite. For the example, you know, you're going to add it in there. Then we're going to go here under properties and options, guys, and then we can actually put it onto high performance, which means that actually our GPU is going to mainly focus on that game, which is going to provide us with more stable performance. And once we're done with that now, guys, we actually want to make sure that we don't have any park cores on our PC. So therefore, what you want to do is search up edit power plan, open it up in the first place, guys, and click under change advanced power settings. Once we're in here, I want you to be everything which I'm about to do. I'm going to scroll down here until I can find processor power management, open it up guys and there we have our minimum processor state which we're actually going to put to 100%. If you have any issues with temperature on your PC you can of course go a little bit lower as well something like maybe 70-80% but for me right now since I'm using a water cooler in my PC there's of course no problem. Yeah then we're going to go here as well to the maximum processor state which we want to put to 100% as well because we don't want to limit our CPU you know of course put it to the highest available but the most important here now guys is actually processor Processor performance, core parking, over utilization, and this one you want to put to 100%. Other than that, you might actually have park cores. Just to make sure that this one is set to 100%. Because as you can see right now guys, on my current CPU now, no cores are actually parked. Yeah, all of them are working in the background. As you can see, just a little bit slightly, but since I'm not doing any heavy tasks here right now on my PC. But what you want to make sure is actually that all of your cores are unparked guys. This is going to give you a huge performance boost when it comes down to gaming or multitasking on your PC in general. You just simply don't want any of your cores to be disabled for like power saving reasons or some stuff like that. And once we're back in here as well, guys, you want to actually go under power options and make sure to select the automatic performance mode. Yeah, this is the one where you want to apply all of these settings, guys. This is the best one which you can apply on your Windows. And if you don't have this one here actually in there, all you guys can do is open up your CMD real quick as administrator. And then you just simply have to place in here the following code, which is going to be right now on screen and in the description. And then afterwards, you actually enabled it. Yeah, then you can go back in here, refresh it and enable the ultimate performance mode. Then this next step, what you actually want to do, guys, is go under Windows search bar again and type in their privacy settings open it up guys and what we want to do in here now is basically disable as many services as possible which are all super hardware demanding in the background guys under privacy you basically want to make sure to disable everything which i got disabled here right now on my pc so under general we got everything disabled speech disabled inking and typing personalization also fully disabled and diagnostics and feedback super important you're basically sending data to microsoft if these services are all enabled guys but just as an example that the tool crashes or whatever is happening maybe your pc PC crashes or something like that it's gonna send all these data to Microsoft but all these services are running 24-7 in the background actually decreasing your performance when it comes down to gaming so therefore make sure everything is disabled and the same as well with app permissions guys yeah except maybe camera and microphone and voice activation these three years since you kind of need them you know if you use like Discord or something like that, you can actually turn off everything. Location fully turned off, notifications, account information, contacts, calendar, call history. Then we have something like radios. Who uses radios on Windows? I don't get it, but yeah, you know. Especially also app diagnostics here again, guys, make sure to disable this and automatic file download. Super, super important. Just simply go through this whole entire list and make sure everything is fully disabled. Then next up again guys, go into your Windows search bar and type in that temporary until you can find the lead temporary files guys. And this is gonna be super interesting now because what we want to do right now is make sure to delete all the temporary files on our PC. And you can see for me here it's right now 116 gigs guys, yeah? I literally have how many? Like 116 here just in downloads alone itself. Okay, this is bad actually. This is really bad. And what you basically want to make sure is to check everything here, especially your recycling bin after some time. You know, you can see that's also already like over 3 gigs actually here of data just like that on my PC. DirectX shader cache also super important that you clean that one once in a while. And delivery optimization files. All of these here super important. 
Right now for me in my downloads, I still have some sound effects for video editing. So therefore I can't actually hear clean now, but if I would do so, I could actually free up 120 gigs on my PC. You might actually be astonished how much data you can actually free up here on your PC, which is all we're gonna speed it up as well. Then after you selected everything, click on the remove files and you're good to go.